We're still months away from Google releasing the Pixel 8 Pro, but that hasn't stopped the phone from showing up in a new hands-on video. 91 Mobiles and Leaker Cuba published a short video showcasing the Pixel 8 Pro. This video provides our first look at the Pixel 8 Pro in the real world, confirming the design we saw in previously leaked Pixel 8 Pro renders. But even more interesting is that the video also highlights a very unusual feature that no one expected. That unusual feature is none other than a temperature sensor. The 40-second video shows that the sensor is a small circle on the back of the phone below the LED flash. We saw this before in the Pixel 8 Pro renders from March, but at the time, it was widely suspected to be a lighter sensor. To use the Pixel 8 Pro's temperature sensor, it appears that you'll need to remove any glasses and other accessories from your face so the sensor has an unobstructed view of your forehead and temple. You'll then move the sensor as close to your forehead as possible without actually touching your skin. Tap a large button on the screen and then move the sensor across your forehead and to your temple. The video shows the whole process takes about 4 seconds, and you'll presumably see your temperature reading on the phone afterward. What's more, this temperature sensor will reportedly only show up on the Pixel 8 Pro and won't be available on the regular Pixel 8. Considering leaked Pixel 8 renders from earlier this year didn't show the extra sensor on the back, it's safe to say that this is an interesting development for the Pixel 8 Pro. On the one hand, there are bound to be some practical use cases for a dedicated temperature sensor. There's value in being able to quickly check your temperature if you're worried you may be sick or starting to come down with something, and it's unlike anything else available on any other phone today. It's a unique use, and we'll be curious to see how Google uses this data in Fitbit, as well as what other use cases come out of the sensor. It doesn't appear to be enough to double as a thermal camera, so the use cases here seem a bit limited, which is surprising for a brand new dedicated sensor on the device. Other leaks about the forthcoming phone are pretty scarce we're expecting, as confirmed by this video, a design that doesn't change much from the current devices, perhaps a minor shift in the display sizes with mixed reports suggesting the next-gen Google phones might be slightly more compact. You could expect to hear a lot more about the Pixel 8 models over coming months before they launch in October. What do you think about this new feature of the Google Pixel 8 Pro? Let me know in the comments section. That concludes today's video. I hope you found the information useful. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic so please leave your comments in the section below. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.